Good morning. Um, welcome back to my channel. We, it's, it's very early in the morning. It's 3 o'clock. We're about to hit the road to California. Uh, we have pretty much a really just jam-packed day. And then we come right back tomorrow. But either way, it's going to be a nice day today. We first get to California. We're going to Paracelo. And then we're going to eat, check into the motel, uh, go to Warner Brothers, go to this tour, and then go back to the hotel, change. I'm going to be my friend for recent trip. It's going to meet his, friend, his family, and then we meet up later on tonight. It's going to be a, just a constant thing all day. Um, but I'm very sleepy, so... When Rory's come back down, we're leaving. I'll see you guys in California. Okay, all right, guys. I have made it to Long Beach. Um, but I am in a pickle because I need to use bathroom. And there is no bathroom in this area that's open until 9. That you see all these things, ATM, they want your money. But they can't provide a damn bathroom. Cause nothing opened the one the one bathroom that I did find. She said, no, 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 no. Not till nine o'clock. I can't take a piss until nine o'clock. So my ghetto ass is about to pee and I want somebody to say something. Because y'all not like allowing a girl to go pee. Like a normal person. I'm supposed to hold my pee for two hours. What the fuck am I supposed to do here? So I'm sure there's a bathroom around where we are. We just have to go outside of where we are. Because we're like in this little, like in this circle or whatever. Like I'll show you what I mean. Because right across from me, is where you go if like if you're going on a cruise like that's not a carnival ship I'm not sure what that is over there it may be a carnival ship but the cruise ship is over here and so this is the shoreline but there's not this this is messing me up all these little spots but no bathroom so let me show you guys so in the distance as you can see over here right there is a cruise ship it's kind of blurry. Let me see if I can make it a little clearer. Yeah, that's as clear as it's going to get. So, right there is the cruise ship. So, if you wanted to... If you wanted to um, board a cruise, this is exactly where you come in California. You come to Long Beach, and this is the cruise port over there. That right there is... I forgot what the Queen Mary, I think that's what it's called, that used to be a cruise ship, but now I think it's like a restaurant or some stuff in there because it's like old and run down or whatever. And they, so now they use it as something else. I think you can go on the inside of there and like eat and I think there's rooms in there. Like, I think you can actually stay in there. I think they turned it into like a hotel or something. But it's something in specific that you can do in there. But this is where I am. So over here is not too far from the cruise port. The cruise port is right over there. So if you come over here, this is where I am. You see all the bicycle people. You know, this is California. So, you know, it's all about exercise and working out out here. Um, so all these are like um, restaurants and stuff. But none are really open. The only place that's open is where they are. And it's a coffee shop. That, that one right there is a coffee shop. So that's where everybody is. And I have went through this whole thing, and there's no open bathrooms, because all the other places are closed. There's some people running right there, you know, once again, this is the shoreline, so uh, there's yachts and everything over here. But through all of these stores, you see all these ATM signs everywhere. They want to take your money. They sure as hell want to take your money, but they don't want to provide a goddamn bathroom. It's the funniest thing. But if, you, if this is where you come, so behind all of this is where we're going to 
um, parasail. So we get on the little boat, and the boat take us out into the ocean, and then we go parasail from there. So I guess if they're making me, um, I when I first the last time I came here, we came here to parasail. We didn't get to parasail because we missed it because one of our friends made us late. <laughs> So they they will leave without you. That's what we do. I do know that they will leave without you. No hesitation. They do not play. If you are late, they're not finna wait for you. They will leave you. And they show as hell left us. <laughs> so yeah. So I'm gonna try to. What I have on is a little it's a little paper dress. Um. This is a little paper drip. Let me try to find me a mirror. Can I find me a mirror? Let me see. So, this just is a thorn in my fucking side. I have never tried to do something so much and was unsuccessful. This is literally my third time trying to parasail and every single time it fell short for some odd reason. So, this was on me, my fault. I take ownership. I want a lot of Oris and say it was something else. But it was my fault. I booked the reservation, but booked it at the wrong location. So, I booked it at Catalina Island, and I came to Long Beach. So, I just called the, pe I called the people. They tried to move my booking here, and... This is closed because it's right here, the little little place. It's right, it's closed today. And they moved everybody who was actually had reservations here to Newport. So they tried to move my reservation to Newport Beach. And then they're completely sold out. So yeah. <laughs> so, so we are no longer gonna be parasailing today. It is early in the morning, so all we can do is probably, I don't know what to do now, because that's what I wanted to do, so I'm going to talk to Big Voriz, because this is California, this is his stomping grounds, and see what he says, um, uh, and, or I just try to find something for Trey to do today, maybe go to breakfast and take him somewhere, a jumpy place, or I take up some. We still gonna figure out some. We may can't go parasailing, but we'll figure out some place to go as usual. But let, where did he go? All right, here it is. Hold on, let me tell him. Big Vari. <laughs> well, this day is just becoming <laughs> worse by the second. Oh God. <laughs> So, this is the first time I've ever heard that from Motel 6, that I can't, I can't, they're checking, it's at 3 o'clock, that was the first time I've ever been told that. So, so, Baris, <laughs> so this day is just getting better and better. So, they said, we cannot check in until 3 o'clock. That was the first time I've ever been told that by Motel 6. That I could not check in until 3 o'clock. So. Do we go get some breakfast? We might as well. We just make the best of this morning. Because there, there's nothing we can do here. We can't Ruth check Dina. in. We can't go Paris You know what? <laughs> no, the, just the, you, my friend. The... This wasn't my fault. Yeah. None of this is my fault. This look good the morning after breakfast. All right, well, let's go to morning. Is it open? Does it say open? <laughs> or the breakfast bar. I, I really don't care. Pick one. That's where we're going. Because it's time to go. You don't got nothing else. We got to figure you out what we're doing. Got what else else <laughs> we can't go lay down. We can't go into the room. We can't go parasail in. Well, this morning. <laughs> I bet you they got a room out front. <laughs> <laughs> So, breakfast it is. Trey learned a valuable lesson right now. Don't let your mom. What? I always plan good stuff. Yeah, this is just unfortunate of misses yeah, happening. You have lost your. <laughs> no more Motel 6s, okay? I'm not going to say that. 
Well, at least look in the area. I don't know the areas when I'm booking the motel. Yeah, I know seat. that. That's what I'm saying. I just, you're going to okay. hit this thing because you don't know how to drive. So you need to go out the same way that you came in. And you came around. in like this, so you need to pull out that way. <sighs> well, Reese is a bad driver, y'all. Man, don't be having me on your damn <laughs> right now. I'm going to say something. So, th this is your camera. This, look, this is your camera. This is tell you where you I'm about to put you in the driver's seat. <laughs> the car has a camera for a reason. The camera lets you know somebody's door is open. Trey, is that your door open? Please open it and shut it back. You could have just literally went around. That's the know? wrong way. Did you see the arrow? Did you see the arrow? Man, don't worry about me. You, you, you figure out. Oh, that was a loaded cafe. It was right there. Anyway, I served pack egg and burgers. Where are we going? At? Where are we going? It's called the morning after. Mm. Nine minutes away. To look at them. They got kicked out. They run early. <laughs> So there's white people that sit here. They waiting to get checked in at three o'clock. That's what's why they sitting out there. So don't we not gonna feel bad. Ruby's always talking shit. Strong Beach, Pacific Coast Highway, you should know. Hey, next time ask me. How am I supposed to know? I'm not from California. Exactly. That's what I said. Next time ask me. At least try to get some kind of feedback. So it, it does not sound like if there's a Motel 6, no matter where it is, anywhere it's never going close, to be. Anywhere that's close to a Martin Luther King and a PCH, you got a Low Leary. Anyway. I've been downtown somewhere. Got that Motel 6 in the first place. Get on. Because I choose Motel 6 because it's cheap. You're only spending exactly. one night. And California is very expensive for hotels out here. Expedia Hotel.com. We're going to find a deal somewhere. That's, that's less than $100. How are you going to have all, all this bling bling and talk about I don't need some words, some cheap? That's less than $100? Yeah. You're about some. Bull crap. Bull crap. Well, look it up now. I'm not doing anything right now. All right, all right, we'll see. Anyway, he's getting on nerves now. Uh -huh, so, nerves. yes, you are. I said it. I said it. I said it. Anyway, I, I, when we get to the restaurant, I'll be back. Have us downtown Long Beach. I have no idea where we're going. He has map quest on the phone. And we're looking crazy in the middle of the street. So let me. I'm trying to let him do it, you know. But I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do this myself and get us to this restaurant because everything just be so difficult for him to figure out. So. <laughs> so let me figure this out. I'll be right back. At this place called I'm Living In because uh, we were looking for a place called the morning after, and I'm, I'm not gonna be hunting for no place that looks like it doesn't exist. So I just started walking from this place called I'm Living After. It was open. I see why people are sitting outside because it is hot as shit in the inside. Um, no air whatsoever, but make the best of it. Uh, the food looks good though. I've been seeing I've been wanting an omelet for the past couple of days, so it's like a great place to have an omelet. Biscuits and gravy. Good choices. Here. 
Okay, let me show you guys the meaning. So, we are now at John's Incredible Pizza. We have one of these in Vegas. I've been there maybe like three times. It's a big old arcade with pizza. Um, we just left a restaurant to eat breakfast, so I'm not really hungry. I just need a place to sit down because we're really, really tired. We've been traveling and lack of sleep make a girl <laughs> really agitated and crazy. So, this is really for Trey right now. Letting him do his big one. Because we have one hour, pretty much, for him to do his big one before we gotta get over to Warner Brothers. So, um, yeah, so this is really for Trey. I'm gonna be sitting my happy ass down. And find one place to charge my phone at. Lost sight of my child. So I just got done playing this car game right here. So let's uh buy me some stuff because I bought some. I didn't even want, I don't really want to play, but I'm kind of forcing you to play. So I just will take advantage of whatever it is I got. I got all this free or free play, so I might as well use it. That is snow crop. Ooh. So let me give you a guy a quick tour of John's Incredible Pizza. The one that's here in, where am I? I think I'm in Carson, California. So asphalt is what I just played. So let's just take a quick walk around the place here. I thought I saw my kid. I thought he was just playing this, but, but he's gone now. So let's see what else John Incredible Pizza has to offer, shall we? Oh, Fast and the Furious. Let's go to Fast and the Furious. Um, beanbag tops, a 
another game. Jurassic Park. Oh, gotta go to Jurassic Park. Nice man. Some more games, some more games. You guys get the point. And there's some further ones further in the back. And here's a, a ride here. Um, so, I'm going to pause it here. I'm going to try to find my children. I mean, my son and baby daddy. Take a picture of them. Wherever they may be. And uh, before we have to get out of here. It's 12 o'clock. We have to leave here. I guess by 1. We have to leave here at 1. Um, so, um, so we'll be shortly. I'm going to play a few more games. Take some photos. At 1 o'clock. We'll be back on the road. Next time you see me. We'll be at Warner Brothers Studios. Oh, this day is crazy, but we can do it. I feel magical. I'm in Warner Brothers Studios. This feels so different from being from Universal Studios. It's a whole new vibe. This feels totally like we're gonna go to a movie premiere or something. So cool. Friends. I'm not sure what this is. What is this? I don't know. The Peacemaker? Never heard of it. What is this? Gilmore Girl. Oh, I must have loved Gilmore Girl. And of course, Living Single. What a classic. Still watch this today. If you don't know what Living Single is, get into it. Alright, it says the Telegram, the FDR from the Warner. Yeah, Born in Burbank. Driving Miss Daisy. That's Driving Miss Daisy. Selena, of course. Hi, Selena. Crazy Rich Asians. Babyface. And behind the scenes of corporate. This is Babyface. I don't know what this is. But okay. All right, Warner Brothers. Let's see. Let's see. And I mean, y'all should, everybody should know what these movies, these cartoons are. Animaniacs, grew up on it. Batman, still watch it to this day. The Looney Tunes, still watch it to this day. And Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo, be Doo, be Doo. And of course, Batman. I'm not sure what this one I think this is Mad Max in the corner over here. I'm not sure what this one is. This looks like. I don't know what that is either. This would be like something unforgiving. This is something my mama would, would have had a, a movie, like a video of unforgiving. Okay. Hi guys, I'm back. Let me close out this video. I didn't get to um to record much of the tour on my phone because my phone died very quickly as soon as this tour started. I think I was, once we got to um, Rosie, Warner Brothers, I think I was already at like less than 10%. And then the, the power just started going real fast after that. So I got what I could. Um, <clears throat> but overall, um, it was very interesting um, being at a studio like that because that type of studio, like if you've been to Universal, um, you know, it's, it was movie based, but that's an amusement park. So you go there to ride rides and all this stuff. Warner Brothers is an actual tour. Like it's a studio. You're touring the studio. So you are on the lot where movies and TV shows are made. And on Warner Brothers lot, the TV shows that's really made on the Warner Brothers lot, they put emphasis on Friends. I think that was their biggest show, Two and a Half Men, Big Bang Theory, um, Gilmore Girl, Gossip Girl, things like that. Um, those, those shows are filmed on that studio. So they have their own lot, like lot number 27 or whatever. And the Jamie Foxx show was filmed on a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot of movies and TV shows filmed on the Warner Brothers set. 
it was really cool seeing um it was really cool seeing how things are made and put together and looking at um the set when you're like on versus a film and then looking being on set and looking at that same stuff it's just surreal it was a mind freak for me and then when we got to the end it was like the dc and i was looking at uh, batman's the justice league uniforms and stuff and it was just a mind freak i don't know i don't know i was just having a a weird out of body experience i was looking at aquaman uniform and because it's on display but you can't touch everything you can't touch it because it's the real thing and it's just it was just a mind freak and i was like hmm, it's just really interesting looking at it up close but it was a major learning lesson it was it was it's a real tour so if you're interested in going and seeing a real tour like that uh, book you a little night it's like four or five different tools we did like we got the cheapest one it was like 70 dollars. that was as much as i can take because it's actually really long so so you have to set take out like three hours of your time of your day to complete just the 70 the 70 dollar tour the higher the amount the longer the tours or i think the longest was like six seven hours i don't want to be at, at no no tour six seven hours but that was as much as i could take but today was a good day. They're going to get to McDonald's real quick. I'm trying. I think I need a real nap. I need a nap because I'm supposed to head out tonight and go out and to the bar with my friend. I still plan on doing that. I just I'm just afraid of falling asleep because I still haven't been asleep. I think in 48 hours I've been asleep for four, four hours in 48 hours. So my body wants to go to sleep and I'm afraid if I do, I'm not going to wake back up. So. I am um, going to end this vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed um, my time here um, at Warner Brothers Studios, going to uh, the arcade. And if I do go out tonight, you'll have another video out of me going out tonight. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm going to um, edit this and put it up for a future date on my channel. Look forward on Just Regina. I love you all. Bye.